Hey, I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21 Career Mode. We're on episode 94. It's the Giro d'Italia. We continue on, and oh wow, what an excellent race day condition draw after quite a few poor stages. Today is a stage that could be everything, could be nothing. It's 208 kilometers, so it's very long, and that is absolutely a factor in how today could go. It's also just a hills stage. However, when you <clears throat> excuse me, when you glance down at the profile, the undulation is well, it's pretty serious. That's a lot of climbing, and that's a lot of short descents, and it's quite continuous in how it's rolling up, down, up, down uh, throughout the stage. So, for that reason where even though today could essentially amount to nothing, today could turn out to be fairly decisive. The Just only thing the about it is that these last couple of climbs are quite minor, and there's definitely a lot of flat terrain at the end of the stage. You got that little bit here at the beginning, but then you have a a bit again at the end of the stage so all of this continual rolling throughout the middle of the stage could be undone by that flat terrain at the end and we could see things come back together a bit especially with a team that has a, a decent train a, the decent ability the togetherness to pull it back now if it's shattered then that's probably not going to happen and that's why i'm Attack again reiterating now a third time that this could be a, an all or nothing type stage there could be nothing coming out of this one and it could be a large group finish or it could be very very small groups you could have five or six riders crossing the finish line at the helm or not. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and set ourselves up for this one though. With this positive race day condition, I'm liking our odds. For the first time all race, both Martin Guerrero and Kuraman combined for positive race day condition. Gonzalez Albiol also with a strong race day condition, which means our overall leaders are in good shape for us to push. Can we make it that all or nothing type stage. Isakov, the only one of our top guys who didn't end up with a positive, but he's at least on a neutral zero. Ryabovas looks great today. Arbutas, uh, Kikochi in 80-80. Holy cow. Plus 83 stamina, really important on a day like this, and 84 resistance. Dang. Rehobovus is, yeah, up there too in the 80s. 79 mountains, 78 hills. Oh my goodness. I am loving, loving what we have. So Narbutas and maybe Isakov. He's 25th. He's he's out of contention. Yeah, we'll, we'll use three to protect. We'll let Rehobovus and Kyokovchi be solo so that they are fresher. I'm going to wait through, I think, the first four climbs sit tight uh -oh, and use these two two climbs the two climbs to start pushing and the seeing what happens that's the idea let's go ahead and speed things up until we get to the interesting bits All right, so uh, we're back. We've got just under 100K left. I just completed the task of getting water for a second time in this one. The positioning where you have that little bit flatter or longer descent type sections so far have played really well into our hands on timing to get water. And I think, uh, I'm assuming that here, let's see, 158. Yeah, 50k from the end. So just after this climb and maybe 
into this part you can get water one final time and it not be a big deal first little part of this climb not too worried about it but these next two parts I'm I'm interested I'm, I'm my interest has been peaked this could be a nothing stage if we sit back it's a nothing stage if we go a little more aggressive what's gonna happen I mean Karam and Martin Guerrero Gonzalez Albiol with the race day condition they have they're not going to be affected. They're going to be fine. So I'm going to try to do something with a couple of their teammates. I'm going to start with the ones that are riding as domestiques right now. So Isikov, Narbutas, and Luko. I'm going to have them relay. Push them up the order a little bit. And let's see what happens if they climb, we'll say, at an 82. Kikovci and Rebovis need to protect... Uh, Karaman, obviously the main leader, and I'm trying to remember what order Gonzalez Albiol is better placed, but he's also got the plus four. He's got 82 Mountain versus 80 Mountain. Let's let's go ahead and protect Martin Guerrero because he needs the protection more than Gonzalez Albiol. I want to. I want all three of them to be okay. So that means Narbutas, Isikov, and Luko are now going to be the focus for the next little bit. We have two climbs to push tempo and see if we can't break this peloton up a bit get it down to 20 riders so far Scarseth actually looks to be pushing as hard if not harder than we are no now we are overtaking him yeah Narbutas to the back. front they obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group Overall, to the break, four and a half minutes, and it's holding at four and a half minutes. So for that, let's go ahead and speed things up. Uh, we are struggling with our 77 pace. Let's go ahead and push that up to about an 80. I'm okay with conserving energy, especially on this first climb. With those guys, they'll recover on the descent. So far, we've only dropped a few riders, but the first climb is about doing some damage, upping the tempo, and then with the second climb, we'll see. Oh, the it's the, the cat, too. And we have split off a pretty good-sized group, 108 as we go over the top. So there you go. And it continues to shrink down to 92. All right, we do not want everyone, but we do want Narbutas to use his gel now. He's not going to last a whole lot longer. That's okay. It's okay. I'm prepared to burn through these three guys. In okay, Kikovci down with three other riders. Four riders hit the deck here. Kikovci, Mr. Plus Five on the day, and he is done. He's out. Out of the race. So... This hurts. This hurts a lot. I'm going to pause there for just a second. Here's why this hurts. Not the plus five. The, the plus five, I don't care. Not a big deal. But Kyokovchi at a 74-74 was one of our punchier guys. Now, most of the punchy stages are now behind us. Today, is this time for me to back off? Mm, not necessarily. Uh, we do obviously want to move our protection from Riobovis, our for Rehobovis from Martin Guerrero to Karaman. Uh, but it's only stage 12. It's only stage 12. We still have nearly half of this race left to complete, and we just lost a key rider who was really our only combo domestique for punchy and climbing. Balanced. I mean, Kikochi is very very valuable to this team and we're now going to have to go the remainder of this race without him this stage as an all or nothing losing one rider just took out some of the firepower and means you know maybe here after this last climb there's probably not going to be much doing but yeah that that hurts that hurts a lot actually uh really disappointed with that crash and that crash if I'm not pushing maybe that doesn't happen 
but you you know you never know with this game. Uh, We're starting the last third of the race. Reality is One as Narbutas is now fading. Up. Uh, the lead rider is now more than two and he's going to be out, but we're, you know, we're down to 60 riders here, so we have definitely done some damage. We've got it down to 53 now, as we continue to push. But there's still m two more climbs to go. There's a descent here where recovery is going to happen, and I just don't see this group really shrinking down much. Uh, Luko and Isakov are both done as well, so the ability to punish this group, it's gone. It's done. Alright, uh, Narbutas is dropped. Okay, he's already set to auto. Uh, let's... Go ahead and call it a day on the attempt to do something because, well, nothing left to do. 60k to go. We are going to need water. I'm going to wait for this last, not last, this next climb. Uh, as we approach the top of that climb, that's when I'll uh, set up that task. The three riders in the break or have already opened up another minute uh, since we went tired. So nobody else is interested in pushing, and that's fine. That's totally fine. We tried to do something without Kukovci. I think that that says enough. That says enough. Let's get the these guys down. set for continuing to keep their foot down as the race goes on. Uh, we only have one guy <clears throat> with proper energy at this stage, so I'll let Riobovis take care of getting the water as we go over the top. And that's going to do it for this stage. There's nothing left to play for. Next up, time trial. And then another mountain stage. That's what we should be able to get through today uh, in this episode. And that's going to cover the next four to five stages, counting this one anyway. Uh, and that's going to get us into the later phase of this race overall. Okay, one climb left to go. It's cat three. Let's go ahead and set ourselves up on the 85 just to make sure that nothing happens and I'll see you uh, at the time trial stage 14 32.7 kilometers in length and my top three guys are setting off and I've pretty much figured out this time trial there's two climbs along the way there's two minor descents along the way but you finish on a descent, you only have to pedal a couple of times, so you only need to have enough energy to get over the top. I might have gotten just a little bit too hard too early with Isakov, but I think we're almost on track on where we want to be. Oh shoot, Gonzalo Salvia already set off. I need to get uh, in control of him here in just a second. Yeah, Isakov's okay. He is okay. There's into the tuck. That's, that's where you need to have that energy till... Uh, Martin Guerrero is where we want him to be. Well, let's get control of Gonzalez Albiol. He's gone too deep too early. That's that's not how you want to ride that one. Isakov, 21st, just a minute 20 off the pace. And you can see I've got everybody up there. Narbutas just isn't a very good time trialist, but we've got him balanced. Uh, otherwise, everybody's within that about a minute and a half, half minute kind of range. Uh, you can push 78 part of the time, but it's that last gentle climb where a lot of that is really set up for the long term. Karaman, not great on the race day condition. It looks like he's a neutral zero, I would think, based on what we're seeing. Let's see if that's actually the case as he goes to set off. It is. It's a zero. So unlucky on his draw not being positive. So it could be better. But with the climbing, with that time trial, he'll you know he'll be fine. Uh, Martin Guerrero though should be capable of putting in a pretty solid time with a 79 mountain and an 81 time trial, plus the resistance at a 77 a day should be pretty good. Speed things up for a little bit, because all of them are going to need to sit on that 77 for a good long while. But you can see Martin Guerrero is nearly neutral on his 77 at this stage and he's already seventh just 34 seconds down now i've noticed some of the other riders are able to gain a bit more time uh, 
on that last sector, that final sector, uh, and I haven't been able to do that. But we can push him to a 78, maybe even a 79 right now because of him being neutral as we approach this final climb. Time isn't good, but cool. Equal time isn't good. He's second on zero. Gonzalez Helby, all meanwhile, he's going to have to hold that 77. He definitely doesn't have the spare energy. And Karaman, just a minute down. Uh, you're looking a little bit better for Gonzalez Helby. In fact, just 18 seconds down through that final time check. But Martin Guerrero, the one we're keeping an eye on right now. Let's back that off back to a 78, as we have definitely dug deep. But he is getting into that final stretch. And usually I'm hitting into the red bar by this point as you approach the top of the climb. Uh, he slipped to third 10 seconds down, so there's a couple of those top five guys that are doing really, really good on their time. And Martin Guerrero goes into this tuck here at the end. This is 99 territory from here, trying to get maximum speed. Fifth, 21 seconds down. Okay, I always slip a little bit on that last one, but that's only a few seconds. Top five at the moment for Martin Guerrero means that is an excellent time. That's going to help him move up the order. Gonzalez Albiol already out of energy before we've crested. That's not going to help. He's definitely going to lose a little bit of time in there. He was top 10. Let's hope he's at least holding up decently overall. And Martin Guerrero in, uh, sorry, Karaman into that final sector already beginning to climb. He was 10th, just 35 seconds down. Gonzalez Albiol, yeah, he does slip down a little bit. He lost a little time in there. Uh, more so than we would have hoped. He was about 40 seconds to where he ended up at a minute 16. We would expect him to lose a little, but not quite that much. He lost about 20 seconds more than we would have wanted. It's really hard to manage three riders at the same time as you're going through. Bokunoge goes top of the time charts. Karaman about to crest here. Save that a little bit. Save that a little bit. Get over the top. Get over the top. There you go. Final push, last pedal, and crosses the line, minute three down for an okay-ish time trialer. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yes, he's just recorded the best Foss. Time. Foss goes effort. top. He wins. Ouch. Foss opens up his lead. Dang. How did he do that? All right, Martin Guerrero's time, excellent as he holds a top seven. Rhea Bovis was also right there. Karaman, you know, that's that's not bad for somebody who's just okay as a time trialist. Uh, Gonzalez Albiel, a little disappointing that he's that little bit further back, but here's how things look now. So Foss has extended his lead. Del Rue, Hagita, and Karaman are all very, very close to one another, just 20 seconds separating them. We are at the tail end of that, but we are still very much in contention for a podium position at this stage. Martin Guerrero moves up to seventh. Gonzalez Albiol is ninth. Yeah, we, we went from eighth and tenth to seventh and ninth out of those two. And Karaman does slip that one spot, but is still right there in range. Didn't have a great day. Didn't have a great race day condition. That's... That's perfectly acceptable. I know I said we were going to get through three stages today, but I'm going to end this one a little early on a cliffhanger. Uh, first off, Kilkovci, his fate, broken hand, so he should be back fairly soon, hopefully, from that. I didn't see exactly how long he'll be out. Uh, Karaman, meanwhile, his fitness peak, it's close. He's at 90 points now. He's going to get there soon. But it's stage 15 already. It's clearly not a well-timed fitness peak. His race day condition overall, he's had that one really good day. And otherwise, a lot of just eh, so-so days. So uh, I'm thinking he is either neutral or ever so slightly below. So hopefully we'll get some good draws in the coming stages to kind of make up for that. Meanwhile, we only have Gonzalo Salbiol on the fitness peak. Kyokovchi was the other one, so he's gone, he's absent. Uh, Luko is supposed to be on a plus one, but he's tired now. Okay, as we get into the later stages, he's tired. That has drawn him neutral. So our race day condition 
bonuses are getting worse as the race goes on. Uh, and then to make matters so much worse, Karaman, who had his 99% fitness, today wakes up with back pain. Not good. Not good. He still has the plus one, but he's dropped fitness by 10% with that back pain. That decrease by 10% means we're not going to get any of those bonuses. In fact, we might see negatives as a result as he sits below 90%. Probably not. He'll be fairly neutral, but that could hurt. That really could hurt. We're due for a good race day condition day. I mean, he's had one in this race, and that's been it. So he's had a couple plus twos, but, you know, nothing good. And he's definitely had those minus ones. He's had a minus two. Uh, he's had some poor draws. He's definitely had some poor draws. I don't remember every day, but I, I definitely want to say overall he's probably somewhere around a minus three minus four draw so one good day will counter that and get him back to neutral and and even draw we know he needs it he definitely needs it at this stage i'm a little worried i'm a little worried uh missing kukovci karaman's back pain can we get back onto the podium i don't know handful of stages still to go We'll see what happens, but we'll leave that one here for now on that little cliffhanger before we proceed into stage 15. That's going to do it for this one. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.